Hello everyone. How's it going? My name is Brandon. And today I'll be showing you guys all the UK book covers that I have. Not book covers. All the books. UK books that I own. God. I already screwed it up. I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes when I like a book and I would just search up the different editions, either on Book Depository and Goodreads, I find that the UK edition is so much better than the US. And I immediately have to have it because it just looks so much better. Do any of you guys do this? No, no, just just me. Yeah, I figured. So this is your average paperback. Perfect size, you know, it's a little bit floppy. This is your average UK paperback. Take a look at this. Shorter, smaller than the US paper edition. See, from side to side, a lot sturdier as well. They're not too floppy. So now that I showed you guys, you know, the paperback editions, the hardcover are more or less the same, but they have different editions and the material is different as well. I have quite a lot to show you, so let's get on with it. The first UK book that I want to show you guys is Stolen Songbird by Danielle Jensen. This is the UK edition. Oh, wow. It's, wait, is this the UK edition? No, this is not the UK edition. I'll be right back. Let me put this book away, okay? So fucking stupid. I thought it was the UK edition. The first UK books that I'm going to show you that I got would be Vendetta series by Catherine Doyle. This is like a um, contemporary mafia love story war drama book series that I got a while ago and I buddy read this with a booktube friend of mine. I'm really sad because the first book came out in hardcover in the US so they don't make any more hardcover editions of the other books in the series which I'm really sad about because I'm just like why? I'm guessing the first book didn't do too well but here they are. The first book is Vendetta and to show you guys I'll probably leave the picture of the book somewhere around here. This is the second book right here and this is the third book. They're overall pretty much just really good, I guess, if you want something really fast-paced, something entertaining. They do have some sort of mafia elements in there along with some romance. So if you guys are into that, definitely check the series out. I really enjoyed it. I had a fun time reading this. So yeah, and they're really short to read too as well. So I really like the feel of the UK book covers. If I say book cover one more time, I swear to God. The next book I want to show you guys that I got from the UK, that would be Second Chance Summer by Morgan Madsen. I have already read Morgan Matson's other book, which is Since You've Been Gone, and I enjoyed it so much. I have yet to actually read this book, but I really like it, and I'm just really digging the summary aesthetic feeling of this book better than the US edition of this cover of this book. I just like it so much better. The spine is green, and they're like flying on some kind of dog, and summer's coming up, so it might be a really great opportunity. Next is The Raven Voice, Maggie Steve Otter. This is the UK edition, and while I prefer the US edition better, this edition is also cool because it has like these little details in which the US edition does not. However, I prefer the US mainly because it has like this nicer, glossier finish. I love this book so much that I found this at my local used bookstore and I had to get it. I was like, how did this book end up over here in a local used bookstore in the United States? The next book I have is With Malice by Eileen Cook. I actually read this book already. It's like a mystery psychological thriller and I didn't like this book. But, you know, I have it anyway because I thought this edition looks so much better than the U.S. edition. Even though the U.S. edition looks really cool and aesthetic, this one just looks more menacing, I believe. And this book is about two friends who go on a trip and one of them dies and the other is in a hospital with a coma and she doesn't really remember what happens. I didn't really like this book, safe to say, but I'm not going to say anything further than that. The next UK book is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. I'm just digging how these books are so small and super light but stolen by Lucy Christopher. All I know about is literally just about a girl who gets kidnapped. Maggie Steve Otter blurbed it. Beautiful, she said, so I'm gonna trust her. I've heard really amazing things about this book, so I'm kind of nervous, but this title is like really shiny and it reflects, so that's really cool. And it's just really like a simple orange. It's really short too. Most of the UK books that I got were really short. And last paperback before I go into the hardcovers is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Gradin. I'm not sure that's how you correctly pronounce her name, but you know what, there it is. This book is actually a lot larger and a lot bigger than the other paperback, UK paperbacks that I have. For some reason, I don't know why this is the only big one. Maybe it's under a different, you know, publisher. I have no idea, but this is also UK. I haven't read this book yet, and I've heard really amazing things about it. I heard it's like a post-parallel where, where Hitler and the Nazis have invaded and won the war, and some girl is trying to win a race, a motorcycle race to assassinate him. But there you go, this is the UK edition of the Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Garden. Gradden, I don't know. Moving on to the UK hardcovers. This big bad boy here is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. Overall, the US edition, I wasn't too keen on. I thought it was very boring, simplistic. What didn't catch my eye 
The only thing that caught my eye was the rating on Goodreads. Like, everyone has said it was so good. But this book, however, caught my eye. Look how gorgeous this is. This is so pretty and so nice and so intricate. As you can see the leaves, and you can just see like a figure here holding a sword. And I thought that was just so much better than the US edition. I didn't really like it at all. This book is so big and I probably wouldn't like to read a big hardcover book like this or take it around with me. The next book is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Unfortunately, I haven't read any of the TMI series or TDI or TID, whatever. I haven't read any of the books at all. I got this special edition um, from Waterstones for like $40 and I highly regret it, but hopefully it will be worth my time and money once I do. If I ever get the chance to read the series and just maybe read from this edition because this edition is really great I guess as you can see it's very shiny and just yeah I'm still regretting the time I got this even though I haven't read any of the other books but there goes that I think the US cover is better but this is like a limited edition limited and I'm still seeing it being sold so the next edition I want to show you guys is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I haven't heard a lot about this book. I don't really know what it's about. I got this as a gift from Not From Happy Comes First for my birthday, so thank you, Not. The US edition looks similar but different as well. I really like this edition a lot better and a lot more because they're just very simplistic and I really like the tone and the color as well. They're very matches really well together and I really like how the letters are like split and uneven. This is like a mystery psychological thriller which is up my alley. Really excited to start this. Next book is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is the US edition right here. Nevernight book one. And this is the UK edition and I prefer this cover so much more than the US. As you can see you can look at it and just decide for yourself that this is so much better. Yes. It's just really cool and when you open the cover you can see the glossy finish of the Raven. So much more detailed and intricate than the US edition. I have to say this one goes for the win and I love the book so much that I have to get both editions. It's about an assassin who tries to avenge her family and before she becomes an assassin she has to go to the school and at the school someone is killing them off one by one and she has to find out who and, and it's just chaos and carnage ensues and it's just so good. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. But this UK edition is just... The next book I have to show you guys is The Girls by Emma Klein. If you guys know the US edition, it has like a girl and it's just blue and red. This one is like a vintage, like 80s photography. When you open the book, the titles are on the bottom, whereas in the US, usually they're on the top. I found it really interesting to find it in this position and the cover is just really different as well. I just like this edition so much better. So there you go, The Girls by Emma Klein. Last and not least, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. If you guys don't know, this is the US edition, which I love and I read from this edition. I have two editions because one is a special edition and one is just a regular UK edition. In the special UK edition, you have a signed signature by Lainey Taylor and some artwork. It's about a man named Laszlo. He dreams about this lost city and a fallen goddess, a blue skin goddess. He makes it his mission to go and find this lost city. So many things happen and it's just so good. I really recommend if you guys haven't already checked this book out. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any of these editions or if you guys know any other favorite editions that you guys own or have. I also have a Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. All listed down below if you guys want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys all soon with a new video.